Hello and welcome to this very quick video. This is about the OSD tab in iNav. Now, one of the cool things that I did a video on a little while ago was how you set up things like HD and Walksdale systems for stuff like iNav. However, there is one extra thing that I forgot to mention. And thank you to those of you that left a comment about this because it's something that I've just been using and thought, you know what? I definitely need to make a video about this. So as we have this set up. The way it works is that if I go into ports and then I show you that we have UART1 set for MSP display port. That is the UART that I have my Walksdale avatar unit connected to. But similarly, it could be a HD0 system or it could be one of the DJI systems. Going into the on-screen display shows me how everything's laid out. However, there are things that are already shown in the screen. So for example, in Walksdale, along the bottom, we have a kind of a summary of all the information. And up here in the top right-hand corner, we have details about whether the recording is happening either on the goggles and or on the avatar unit inside the model. Now, to try and avoid those pieces is really easy in iNav because you can just turn on the preview guides and what the preview guides will do will show you where the edge of the screen is and also show you where those extra pieces are so for example I'm going to move my throttle position below that piece that piece there is where the recording elements are and I'm actually going to pull my direction and distance to home arrow just a little bit in just a touch so that the screen looks exactly the way that I want it to. Because the great thing about these wonderful big fields of view is that it can kind of move around. Might also put that system message just a little bit further up so it's easier to see. So let's save that. So I just wanted to show you this. This is a really, really cool way to make sure that you are not putting information either in the way that's of something that's already on the screen or something else like a recording icon. So do remember about this show preview guides. It's a fantastic feature in iNav. And if you're using Walksnail HD0 or one of the DJI systems, uh, this is a real great way to make sure that you don't put information on the screen that's gonna be over the top of something else. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.